fish right there. All right, so today, I know a lot of you have been waiting for it. I'm gonna go over my top five spring pike lures. Uh, let me get this fish back and we'll, we'll do it. All right, so top five pike baits. I know that's something a bunch of you've been asking for for a while. Um, haven't really got a chance to get around to do one, mostly because I just enjoy the fishing while I'm out here too much to actually take time to do it. So number one is gonna be a swim bait. It's very straightforward. That's my go-to. Uh, it's a great search bait. That's the big thing. A lot of times you're just covering water looking for one fish. Um, I mean, this here is just a chuck and wind. Very, very simple. Uh, this is a hand poured bait here. I've got it on a weighted hook. Uh, it keeps it down a little bit and uh, helps it run a little straighter as well. Uh, I've got it on the hand tied leader. Um, I have posted a video in the past on how to tie these leaders, so I'll put it at the end of the video so you can see that. But yeah, very, very simple with this bait. Cast it out, reel it in, uh, cover as much water as possible. Um, that's definitely what I throw the most out here for sure. Uh, number two would be a soft jerk bait of some sort. Um, so this one here, that's the Ace by Imperium Baits. It's the new design they have out this year, which I really like. Very, very soft bait. Uh, I've got it on a weighted hook. I think that's a 332nd ounce. Um, fishing a little bit deeper water right now, so I like having a bit of weight just to help keep it down. Um, that way the fish don't have to come all the way up for it. In shallow water, I will throw a weightless. Uh, very simple with that retrieve as well. You cast it out, just give it a couple pops and let it sit. A couple pops and let it sit. Most of the time they'll eat on the paws, um, which is very similar to number three. Almost identical to the hard jerk bait. So this one here is a Lucky Craft. Um, again, it's it's kind of it's a power fishing, but it can be finesse at the same time. So I like to use it to cover water, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. When the fish are in a non-committal mood and they're doing a lot of following, um, it's nice, that, especially with the suspending versions, that you can just hang it right in their face. Um, you know, they come up to it and you just pause it, just hold it there. And they'll sit and sit and sit and sometimes eat it. Sometimes, you know, a little twitch or two uh, will be enough to make them eat. Um, so it's power fishing, but it can be finesse at the same time. So jerk bait is always a good choice. Uh, number four, it's probably a little out of the box for most of you wouldn't think it. Twister tail grub. Um, that there, so in the time that I spend walleye fishing, I, I don't do a lot of walleye fishing, but um, I do use a lot of twister tails when I do, and uh, even smallmouths. Like I catch so many pike throughout the season on twister tail grubs. Uh, I had a really tough day out here one time. Uh, I decided to try it out and uh, caught a couple good fish. So now there's days where they just want to feed off bottom. They don't want to chase anything. They won't commit to anything. Uh, where you just give these little pops kind of on bottom, especially if you know they're in a certain area. Um, you can take a lot of fish that way. Which is actually how I caught that 44 incher just now. So um, that's a good one to have with you for sure. I like it on a light head. Uh, that way you're not getting snagged up and you can kind of swim it if you want. Just chuck and wind, just slow, slow swimming through the water column. Or like I said, bang it off bottom without really getting hung up, which you'll do if it's too heavy. Um, I had a hard time picking number five. There's so many baits to choose from. Uh, but what I am going to do for number five is almost cheating in my book. Right there. Mr. Sucker. Um, so last year, I had a buddy out who doesn't fish too much and uh, couldn't really cast all day. So I brought some suckers hoping we can get into some fish. We ended up getting into some really good fish. Uh, after that, it's like I came back out and I fished my normal milk run and uh, fish that I had follow but not eat. I could go back to later and generally catch on the sucker. Uh, it's been a tough season so far for the suckers this year. I think I've only caught two fish on it. Um, but one was uh, Mr. Smiley, that 47 and three quarter there that I got uh, last week. Absolute giant fish. So um, 
you know, they're worthwhile bringing along. It's expensive to keep doing. Um, and being a tournament guy or from a tournament background anyway, um, I kind of don't really like the idea of live bait. Uh, I've just been, you know, conditioned to not use it for so long that it, I almost, like I said, felt like I was cheating when I did use it. Um, but it works really well. You can't argue with results. And ultimately, that's what I'm here for is to catch fish. So um, it's a good option. Um, I know a lot of you are going to wonder, like, you know, do you throw spoons or spinners and stuff like that, um, which are kind of your typical, more well-known pike baits. Um, the answer is yes, I do throw them. Um, but I don't have the success on spoons and spinners uh, that I do on these other baits. So those are my top five. They're going to be different than everybody else's top five. Uh, if you want, leave your top five in the comments below. Let's have some discussion. Um, for those hand-tied leaders, I'll put that video right up here in the corner. I uh, hope you take a look at it and learn something from it. Uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.